from the studios of Adventist World Radio in Pune. A warm welcome to you as you join us. This is our international English service. In our program today, we bring inspirational music, health talk on principles of life that are basic. With more enjoyable music, you'll also hear God's word to enrich you spiritually. This is your host Sharad and I'm Maureen and you're listening to Adventist World Radio, the voice of hope. Let's begin our program with a song. listening to Adventist World Radio the voice of hope from Pune India dear friend life's rich treasures such as health happiness and peace of mind are portrayed in our health talk in a new way today's society has many problems how can we cope up with them how can we enjoy health and happiness each day in the face of these influences that bombard us continually It's time to hear a health talk. Stay with us. Dear listeners, today we are going to deal with an important topic and that is prevention of air pollution. Here are some simple steps for prevention of air pollution which will help you do your bit to save the environment. Yes, 
Air pollution is a phenomena wherein the release of harmful chemicals in the atmosphere result in contamination of air and makes it unsuitable for a various life forms on the planet. It is considered to be one of the most serious environmental issues in the world. If the statistical data compiled by the World Health Organization is to be believed, more than 3 million people in the world die due to some health problems related to the environmental air pollution every year. That's not at all surprising, considering that the harmful effect of breathing polluted air range from various health disorders in humans to destruction of the ozone layer of the atmosphere, all being said, our priority now has to be prevention of air pollution and efforts need to start at the very grass root level, that is, from our side. Yes, how do we need to prevent air pollution? Air pollution is caused when various chemical substances are released in the Earth's atmosphere as a result of some natural occurrence or some human activities. Natural causes include volcanoes, eruptions, release of methane gas, wildfire, etc. While the anthropogenic cause of the same include use of automobiles, power plant, use of solvents, waste disposition, use of nuclear weapon and a lot more. The list of chemical substances which have the tendency to contaminate the air include carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrous oxide, sulfur oxide, ammonia, etc. The high concentration of these substances in the atmosphere make human and animals more vulnerable to the hazardous effects. In fact, the effect of air pollution are much more intense than we can imagine. For instance, studies reveal that as many as 5 lakh people die from cardiopulmonary disease, which is caused as a result of inhaling fine particles in the atmosphere. In some of the developed countries alone every year, natural hazards such as global warming and acid rain are also associated with air pollution to a significant extent. All these harmful effects call for implementation of various measures for preventing air pollution and the earlier we do it, the better it is for us. Yes, listeners, how to prevent air pollution? As the anthropogenic cause of pollution far exceed the natural causes, the on us is on us to take the necessary step to ensure that we don't contribute to this hazard directly or indirectly anymore. Yes, listeners, here are some simple measures which you can take to do your bit to save the planet. Reduce the use of vehicles either by resorting to public transport for daily transportation or switching over from vehicle to other means such as cycling or walking. If the use of vehicle is inevitable, make sure that you use it efficiently. Drive within the speed limits recommended by the manufacturer. Turn the engine off on the red light and make sure that you maintain your vehicle. Buying fuel efficient vehicle is yet another option that you have. Several car manufacturers are using advanced technology to roll out vehicles which minimize emissions. Implement practice such as car pool wherein you take turn to use your vehicle in your neighborhood or workplace. Simple but effective measures when it comes to vehicle pollution. Resort to alternative energy resources such as solar power and wind power. They are much more environment friendly and quite efficient as well. Though indirectly saving energy by resorting to energy saving appliance and not wasting electricity which also help in curbing air pollution. Lesser the energy requirement, lesser will be the production and this in turn will lessen the amount of air pollution causes by power plants. Do not burn the waste generated in your homes. Instead, 
resort to another means of garbage disposal. The same rule implies when it comes to disposal of your garden waste. A better way out is to opt for traditional methods such as composition. You can also resort to technological advanced air pollution control equipment system such as use of filters to remove dust particles and use of wet scrubbers to remove acid gases in the atmosphere. Use a thermostat in your home so that your heater or air conditioner is automatically switched off when it is required. And lastly, follow all the rules and regulations meant to stop environmental pollution and to try to spread awareness about such environmental hazard. Yes, listeners, bringing everything to halt in a bit to stop environmental pollution is not at all a feasible option. What we can do is reduce its intensity gradually by resorting to simple ways to prevent air pollution mentioned above. These tips may seem to be too simple to tackle a problem of such intensity. But when millions of people do practice them, the end results are bounded to be amazing. Thank you for our nice health talk. We are sure it was hope for the despondent, cheer for the sick, and rest for the weary. Keep listening to AWR. It will open the door to a new experience in your life. To know more on our program, you are welcome to write to us on Adventist World Radio, Post Box Number 17, Pune 411-001, Maharashtra, India. You can also email us on Adventist Media Center at gmail.com. You could also hear all our programs on our website. That's on AWR dot org slash english program before you hear god's word here's another song lily of the valley let your sweet aroma feel Oh 
darkness Haunted by the years of past defeat Then I see you standing near me Shining with compassion in your eyes Oh, in your eyes Oh, day stars shine down on me Let your love shine through me in the night wrong and make it right. Oh, day star shine down on me Let your love shine through me in the night Jesus shine Time to hear God's word. Dear listener, our topic today is Jesus the best and the last. And our thought for today is taken from the book of John chapter 2 verse 10. There it says, everyone brings out the choice wine first and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you have saved the best till now. What does that mean? Dear listener, the occasion for Jesus' first miracle was a wedding in Cana of Galilee. Not far from Jesus' home in Nazareth, Jesus and his disciples were invited and accepted the invitation. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was also present. A rather embarrassing incident took place. The host ran out of wine for his guests. Some of you may have had situations where there weren't enough refreshments to go around and you can sympathize with the host. Mary apprised Jesus of the situation. We do not know what she expected him to do, but it seems like the natural thing for a mother to turn to her unusual son and tell him of the shortage. The reply of Jesus, Woman, he says, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. Was not disrespectful. The Greek word gunai translated woman cannot be translated exactly. The New International Version has dear woman. Jesus and his uh, mother had a close relationship, yet there was a part of his life that she could not enter. What is it that to you and me? He asked. He was saying, there has never been anything between us. Don't make something now. She was not rebuffed. She simply turned around and told the servants to do what he said. Mine hour is not yet come is significant. It means that the time when Jesus could reveal himself and something of his wonderful nature had not yet come. His subsequent actions reveal that following the conversation he regarded his hour as having arrived. John tells us in verse 11 that in performing the miracle, Jesus manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him. Many people are disturbed 
that Jesus would have nothing to do with wine. Many have tried to explain this wine by saying that it was not fermented. However, the Greek word used here is the word for fermented wine. Suffice it to say that uh, no wine before or since has been made like this, from pure water in a flash. Jesus takes charge of the situation. There were six stone jars that held from 20 to 30 gallons each and were used for the ceremonial purification of the Jews. Jesus had the servants fill them full from the water in the well. Then he told the servants to draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. The meaning of the miracle is found in the words of the master of ceremonies. He says, you have kept the wine until now. You have kept the good wine until now. John chapter 2 verse 10. Dear listener, Jesus is the best that God has to offer humans. God had given leaders, prophets, and the best from the human side already. The writer of Hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 and 2 confirms this truth. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Dear listener, Jesus is God's last offer to human. Jesus is the last offer to humanity. No scripture leads us to believe otherwise. Jesus is the best and the last that God has to offer to the lost humanity. Good wine until now. The wine is the symbol of blood. Blood is life. So the new wine is the new life that Jesus offers. This is the life-giving power of the new covenant. New life comes by the creative power of the Son of God. In conclusion, dear listener, this miracle in Cana was an introduction or first sign. John chapter 2 verse 11 It manifested Jesus' glory, brought out His nature as Savior and Redeemer. God put His best foot forward in giving us the best He has, and that is His Son. Dear listener, and His disciples believed on Him. We would do well to believe likewise. May God bless you with the new life that God offers each one of us. Let's pray. Our loving and living Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for life. We thank Thee for sending us Jesus to provide us with eternal life. May we also accept Jesus as our Savior and Lord of our life. May we be strengthened in faith in Jesus Christ. May we accept Jesus as our Savior who is the first, best and the last choice. Strengthen us to believe in His dealings and the offer of eternal life to each one of us. In Jesus' holy name we ask. Amen. Where I sit, rest to
Our dear listener, are you searching for truth, for peace, for hope? Where will you turn? Nations seem bent on the politics of war. The economic of the world are at the shattering point. Natural disasters race against a poisoned ecology to fatally damage our environment as the global climate appears to spin out of control. Human wisdom no longer seems to offer a secure future or any hope for happiness. Dear friend, the good news is we are not without hope. Trace the footsteps of God through human history and see for yourself what He offered to save us. Discover the truths that can protect you from the lies of the devil. Discover truths that can change your life today and show you the change of a life without end. With this, we have almost come to the end of our program. To know more on God's Word, we would love to receive your letters on Adventist World Radio, Post Box Number 17, Pune, 411-001, Maharashtra, India. You can also write to us on Adventist Media Center at gmail.com. You may also follow all our programs on our website, that is awr.org slash English program. This is your host Sharad and I'm Maureen signing off from 